am with you again to bring you another swarm capture. Now, it's a little different again today, so on the last one, I caught a swarm, and it was in a beautiful location, a lovely estate that's not too far away from me. Please check that video out. Um, however, I'm a little perplexed. If you can't tell by how my face is right now, I am very perplexed because I've just had another message from the same lovely resident who has informed me that there is another swarm forming on the exact same post by the exact same tree. Now, I'm assuming looking at the, you know, sort of dynamics and behavior of a swarm that, uh, that they are actually from the same hive. We are gonna go and check this out as always, please hit subscribe. It means so much. I'm just starting this channel. Uh, if I could get as many people to follow it as possible and help grow. I learned through many of the experienced beekeepers on YouTube. I learned through some of your suggestions. And I take all the feedback that you guys give me. And equally, if you are new to this aspect of beekeeping or something you know I've done that works well, interest you then hopefully you learn from me as well so let's do that so remember hit subscribe go on go on. press it now so as you guys can see we are now back it's pretty much on the original part which i believe was just by there this is a very tiny tiny swarm cast and it looks like obviously they're bearding by there so they're obviously potentially protecting a queen inside there but I'm not sure. Nothing else is around. There's no flying above me or anything, so I think that is it. I want to leave them a bit longer to see, obviously, if it builds up and if a bigger one comes in. Um, I don't know. We don't know. I'm trying to read what they're up to. These ladies at the top are doing a peculiar lost momentum. Dance. Walk. So maybe we're obviously having a look at the cluster, see how they're forming now, they're coming underneath, build up a bigger one. Very interesting. I'm quite perplexed right now, these guys are acting really, really odd. Just had a look through the cluster and I can't see any. And they're signaling to say obviously that they're um, Oh yeah, I'm signaling them to say that they, they have no food or anything, so... Might not be good with these things. Let's have a little look and see what they do. So, basically what I got in this box by here is a little cotton wool bud with lemongrass, which replicates a similar pheromone, and as you can see, they're going straight for it. Maybe I'll stick it like that. They're all just running straight to it. That's mad, isn't it? Just to see them doing that, they'll find their way in. What he also says is this tiny swarm is queenless. Oh yeah, absolutely. Also got the old man with me. Hi everyone. He's also a beekeeper as well. <clears throat> as you can see, we're now down to the last stragglers. It's just starting to rain. And they're just popping themselves in. Well, I'm really perplexed by this. There's a lot more that are arriving, so maybe I caught the onset of a swarm. When they go into the box, you can see some of them go in and they fly around inside there and they walk inside there. And basically, that is a sign of measuring the space up. So these are like acting like scouts in a sense. In a sense. So I'm not sure if they're scouting out prior to coming. So what I may have to do is leave the box, but they are going for my gloves like mad. 
Look at that. Just holding the camera and they're already back. We've got another cluster by there. So, I'm really perplexed right now because I don't know whether or not that's a scout party, cast swarm or something else. But I think the best bet for me to do tonight is to basically leave and be, come back tomorrow evening. If that is a scout party that's been sent out, then we'll find out tomorrow. If it's a lost swarm, then do I stick a brood frame in it and let them build up and raise a colony, make their own queen and do that? I seem to be doing a lot of that lately. Well, hello again, guys. It is now the next day since obviously I put the box out for the lovely little bees to go in and get themselves at home. Whether it was going to be a swarm that was forming or it was some lonely bees. So I've come up with a theory behind this now. The theory that I have is was it about a week ago or just under a, uh, just over a week I caught a swarm in the very same spot now that swarm I believe is the uh, uh, sorry those bees that are remaining now are the lost bees and that is due to when I collected them there was obviously scouts still going out that were looking for a potential home when they returned they were all gone so I believe that is my my sort of conclusion to this. So they are potentially actually the bees that belong to the hive that I have. Uh, they're the scout bees because they're known to be, you know, bees that will just stay in one spot when they, the original swarm has been taken away and uh, they, they will perish normally in that state unless they return to the original colony. But they haven't done that or it could be when I arrive now in a minute that they are in fact a new swarm who knows but I haven't had no messages today to say that it's bigger or that there's lots of bees it has just been literally straight up you know no, no messages no nothing so that is what my understanding is let's go and have a little look and see what it is if it is the case I'm gonna put a plug in the box and I'm gonna take them back and see if they'll go into the new swarm into the colony that I've already got that I believe they've come from well as you can see guys it is pretty grim weather here in Wales it's a bit raining right now I believe we've got two guard bees just slightly underneath just by there so it looks like all the bees are in the box which is just the reason why I wanted to leave it until half nine to do this so time to stick the cap in and then get on our way so it's now the next day and I am now back here and I can actually see that just at the front by here we've got foragers so they even may have possibly drawn out some comb on the couple of frames that I put in here but I am under that belief still that the original colony is this colony because if it was a scout swarm that was going out yesterday or the day before yesterday they would have indeed then um, had more of a swarm or even a cast swarm would have been bigger than this this is tiny but as you can see they're on the frames they're starting to work them in the tiny number that they are and i think it is best that we now place or shake these into there so let's go ahead and do that so it's time to shake these bees into their new home the way I do this is take this frame. So you can see where they've started to work it out a little bit by here, which is great. Color pattern is, yeah, identical pretty much, but you can't go by that. That's not a promising way to look at it because don't forget the queen does mate with multiple drones and you could get where these are quite a dark bee, very similar to a native, but they also have a striking resemblance to a buck fast. They're not acting like a buck fast, but, uh, yeah, just a gentle shake, like so. There you go, they're off that frame. That's good. I'll store that frame on this one. So I've got room for you. And then I'm gonna reunite them in here. 
so let's try that again. Most of them are gone. All gone. I'll get a couple on the outside now that'll work with frame. Make sure you've got your, uh, your stud cotton wool ball out of the way. Uh, your, uh, your scent is gone with the pheromones. All that is is lemon scent that I use in there on the cotton wool bud. And as you saw, it treats it like it's the, it's the queen. And they love it. And that is your box. Nice and empty. So, as we know, beekeeping is, you learn all the time, constantly, about, you know, what things you need to do for the bees and what things you shouldn't do for the bees. Now, I thought that that was it when it comes to doing my video on the last one with the scout bees being reintroduced. Well, unfortunately, it didn't go well, and it didn't go to plan. Now I'm 95% well, 90, sure that they were the scout bees remaining. They had to be. It was the perfect amount for the remaining bees that I couldn't get, and any swarm collector can't get. You can't always get your bees. You can't. And Sorry, you can't always get all of your bees. You can get the cluster you can get the big gigantic amount but when I shook them in they weren't welcomed so the result of it has turned into a cull so all those little black dots right there and it's horrible to see because if I knew that lovely little cluster that was really gentle on my hand would turn into that do you know what? I would have probably given them a frame of eggs because that's just me. I, I can't see I can't see bees being hurt and stuff. So I feel bad. It is a lesson to be learned. I could have done the paper method to reintroduce them, but there was there was nothing of them. There was a tiny frame. And that is the size of them. That is exactly them. So they've cleaned them out. And what it shows to you is despite them actually coming from the same swarm. 95% sure of it. Despite them coming from the same swarm, they they weren't welcome back. There was obviously a different scent run, or the way I introduced them was completely wrong and they must have saw them as robin bees. Either way, lesson learned, I won't do that again. If you can't collect those bees, or you have people call you up to say, hey, there's some bees still out there, just leave them be. Let them either return to their original colony or leave them just to do their thing. This is not nice to see. Anyway, if you liked the video or the idea of the video, then um, like it. If not, please subscribe. Lesson learned by you. As I always said, we learn together, you learn from me, I learn from you, and I'll pick up from each other. And uh, yeah, well, cutting. Take care.